All right, so this is the job that I'm setting up to work on here. And it is a, a gearbox housing. It's one half of it. And pretty simple operation. We're just gonna do some milling. The bottom of it where it sits was subject to a lot of moisture and contamination there. So there's a lot of rusting and pitting on it. You can see where the shims were, where they had it mounted. So you got a little bit of clean metal there. Okay, but it's it's gone away from that around it. So you don't have a really good mating mounting surface there. So what they want to do is the millet, obviously mill it, clean it up. And then the center of it is also relieved slightly in the middle. And I've got those measurements wrote down by uh, putting a parallel across here and using a depth mic and doing the math and I know what kind of clearance and that should be 70 thousandths you know just over a sixteenth deeper in the in the center here we're going to use a four inch face mill it's a Sandvik we use uh, these inserts here R290 got <coughs> I've already got her clamped and uh, we got it indicated along here so it's parallel with the table All right, let's get going. You can see the heavy pitting here. There's a lot, quite a bit of metal that's gone in this one little, this one little stretch right through here. Okay, that's the result of our first cut. We still got quite a bit here that's uh, not cleaned up. So we're gonna take another cut. I think maybe we'll try 20, 20 thousandths. six inches a minute.
may this may be okay as long as we have our good square contact around our mounting holes so we're going to go ahead and move across to the other side and make a cut across there to get it even and then i'll go from there all right we moved across the other side i've doubled the rpm we're running 800 here and same depth as where we are i think what we're going to do is is uh we're going to try some cleanup cuts on this to make it look a little bit better so let's go ahead and rough this one down another 20 this side's a lot worse than this one here somewhere I think we need to take a little bit more though we, we need to clean some of this up right here by these holes I'm gonna go ahead and relieve this intersection before I bring it down because we're just about at it right now so what I'm doing I'm just uh, setting three and one eighth from the edge because that's what it was milled originally so I'm just setting it with a scale three and one eighth and we'll go ahead and drop it down like say uh, 16 60 thousandths and we'll uh, mill both sides of the center section out. All right, here we go. Let's see if it'll handle it. The 60 thousandths, 10 inches a minute. I think we got the middle of it finally done. It, it looks really good. I ended up having to uh, rotate the inserts one time. This uh, rusting and pitting was, I think, really playing hell on it. So that turned out good. We're going to go ahead and move over and we'll take another 10 thousandths off of each side right here. And maybe that will uh, clean up.
Uh, we made our finished cut over here. That's just the cutting oil. That's, I haven't cleaned it yet. We got this side oiled up. <clears throat> we didn't fully clean up this, but these pits are pretty deep. And I think this is going to suffice plenty for uh, what, what we need. Uh, they told me it didn't have to be 100% clean up as long as we've got good solid contact for all six of the mounts there. So I think we'll take the pass down this side here and then we're going to be good to go uh, besides some deburring that we've got to do. Okay, there we go. We got her done, and we're gonna leave it just like that. We already got it deburred, so we just had that one spot here that didn't clean up. A couple here, but this is in between your whole pattern, so that that doesn't matter. There, a little spot there, nice and slick. Got a good finish on it. 